but I didn't expect that I would be able to get the sump so soon. The sump is in its final position, and now I can begin plumbing the tanks. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're gonna be finally moving the sump into its final position so I can plumb all these aquariums up together and then they can drain to that sump. Now, if you saw last week's video, I had a bit of drama getting the sump home. I almost had an accident when one of my tires blew out on my ute. The sump was in the back tray, everything was okay. There was no accident, no one was hurt and the, the sump did not crack, I couldn't believe it. So in this week's video, I'm gonna to have to move some tanks out of this rack to make way for the sump because there are some tanks that are in the position where the sump's going to be. So I have to catch all those fish out, move those tanks out of the way, and then move the sump into its final position. And that's what we're gonna do in this week's video. And this is the space the sump is going into. So it's gonna fit perfectly in here. Like I said, the sump is four foot long. It's just as wide as these tanks are, and, they're actually, and it's actually a little bit higher than these tanks. So I can have more water volume in the sump in the event if there's a blackout the water will all drain out of the plumbing obviously back to the sump and the sump won't overflow so what i'm going to do for the rest of the day is catch all these bristlenose catfish out that's what is in these aquariums this tank just has albino bristlenose catfish in it the short fin variety this tank also has the short fin variety of um, bristlenose but it has the common color as well as the albino color coming from common colored bristlenose so they're pumping out albinos as well uh, so they're going to go into the tanks above what i'm going to do then is drain the tanks out to the garden move the tanks out and then move the sump into position and then everything is done but uh yeah i'm just glad the sump is here in one piece i'm in one piece i'm okay and that um nothing else of any drama happened on the way home so yeah pretty crazy in hindsight, obviously I should have just popped them back into these aquariums, but I didn't expect that I would be able to get the sump so soon when uh, I moved all these tanks back into position after drilling them. So yeah, I should have put them straight in here because I wouldn't have to do this today if I did do that, but hindsight's a hell of a thing. I really didn't expect it to arrive in uh, at least a few months because I didn't think I'd be ready for one, to get the sump, and two, that the manufacturer would be able to build it that quickly. So anyway, I'm gonna be moving the bristlenose catfish out of these aquariums. Instead of moving everything out of the tanks onto the floor, I'm just gonna pop them straight into their specific aquariums. And if there are bristlenose catfish on any of the, uh, in any of the pots like in this, they go straight into the aquarium. Okay, so all the decorations are out of this aquarium. Next one is this tank. And that's all the decorations from that tank. Next is to pop in their power filters, take out the sponge filters, and then I can start catching the fish. Otherwise, if they've got anything to hide behind, they're just gonna hide behind it, and it's gonna make my job of catching them a whole lot harder. Both internal power filters are in the aquariums, they're clean, and now I'm ready to take out sponge filters from these bottom tanks, and then I can start catching the fish. So let's start with this side. That's that tank done. Next, this tank. And this tank has some fry in it, like as in really young fry. So I don't have to be extra delicate with these guys. And there's a lot more bristlenose in here too. I think that is all the bristlenose catfish out of these tanks. So I'm gonna start the siphons on them to drain them out to the garden. By finding more catfish, obviously I'll catch them and put them in their specific tanks. Backbreaking stuff. Dizzy spells going up and down, crazy. <laughs> so the siphons are started on both tanks. Hook the hose up to the outlet, turn the tap on, water starts to flow into the tank, turn the tap off, take the hose off that outlet, run it down the backyard, siphon starts. I only do that it's a lazy man's way of doing 
the siphons this way uh, when there are no fish in the tanks. So I'll just let these tanks drain out to the garden now. Once they're drained out, give them a wipe down, move them out of the fish room, then I'll be able to shift that sump into this spot. See, I need to do a bit of cable management here before I put the sump in place. Okay guys, the cable management has been fixed and that is it guys, sump is in its final position and now I can begin plumbing the tanks and hooking them up to the sump. Yeah, it's a lot of work in the long run, it's gonna help me big time in maintaining uh, these aquariums and doing water changes. And in case you're wondering, uh, this tank is sitting on black neoprene, not white styrofoam. Uh, the black neoprene looks a lot neater than uh, the white styrofoam, I believe anyway. Also, if you brush up against it, it doesn't break apart with, uh, like the styrofoam does. And that's why there's no white styrofoam underneath this tank. It's sitting on neoprene. But yeah, there you go. Really happy about that. Glad it's in position. Now again, all I have to do is plumb all the tanks to this sump. So there you have it guys, moving the sump into its final position. I'm really glad to get it off the fish room floor and into the stand for out of the way. I've got more room in the fish room again and just having it in the way was giving me a little bit of anxiety. I didn't want to drop anything on it. I didn't want to kick it or anything like that. And after again, last week's drama with getting it here and almost breaking that sump in an accident, um, I'm just glad it's in its final position. But there you have it guys. I really hope you enjoyed that video and found it informative. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and consider subscribing to the channel. I really would appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Thanks, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.